Kinnick Stadium here at Iowa. We're ready for a battle in the Big Ten as number four Michigan comes into town to take on the hometown Iowa Hawkeyes. That's where the Iowa defense wants to get the quarterback in order to create turnovers. First down and 10 at the 25 for Michigan. And they'll hand it off straight ahead. This is Corum. He'll pick up about four yards on the Remember play. Corum last week against Maryland. 30 carries, 243 yards, and two touchdowns. Second and six at the 29. Corum again looking for daylight, and he has some room, and he'll pick up the first down after a gain of seven. Last week against Rutgers, first down and 10 at the 36. McCarthy, timing pattern, has his man. Roman Wilson gets out of bounds as he crosses Making the 42. His career road start. Here's McCarthy. And he'll run it himself. Tucks it up. Gets outside and goes out of bounds. Close to midfield. At the 49. Here's McCarthy. Sprints out of the pocket. Tries to square his shoulders. Throws on the run. And he has his man at the 36. Nicely done. Roman Wilson going up high in front of Cooper DeGene. Donovan Edwards, who's been out because of injuries. In the lineup today, he's in the backfield. And they'll swing it out to him in space. Hits the sideline hard and goes down at the 35. Second and seven at the 34. And here's a handoff straight ahead. Blake Corum slashing his way through. Gains six yards. With McCarthy, low snap handled. They give it to Corum looking for the first down. And he has it. 26. Donovan Edwards in motion in the backfield. Here's Edwards on the run, huge hole, breaks it back and goes down close to the 15-yard line. Should be enough for first down. Corum back in the game. He's the single setback. This is his area. Here's the reverse. They get around the corner with Ronnie Bell. Ronnie Bell, touchdown, Wolverines. 16 yards. Michigan marches it right down the field on their opening series. And Ronnie Bell punches it in with a 16-yard reverse for a score. 11 plays, 75 yards, Wolverines up 6-0. I mean, what a great job on the outside. First, you're going to see Cornelius Johnson, number six. He's got a great block on Riley Moss. And then Screwmaker, 86. There's the block late. Boom. He gets Quinn Schulte, the, the safety. Go in for the extra point, and it's good. So Michigan takes a 7-0 lead. The offense looking very disciplined, in rhythm to start this game. Back to Iowa City right after this. Seahawks, Noah Fant. First and 10 at the 42. Petrus over the middle, incomplete. He had his man. That would have been Lachey. Petrus sprints out, throws on the move and another high throw. Brody Breck, the target. And, and banged up on the outside. Third down and 10 at the 42. Empty backfield for Petrus. Here's Spencer Petrus. Wants to throw it over the middle. And incomplete. The port of the target. Great defense. Makari Page, number seven there. McCarthy and Corm. Corm the pistol back. And they'll give it to him. Running left this time. And Lake Corm gains five. Great emotional traditions in college football. The wave. Here we go. Second down and five. Here's McCarthy to the sideline. Nice timing pattern. Can we make that Ronnie Bell with the catch? He gets out of play. 
picks up a first down. And that's what this defense forces you to do, is just take what they're going to give you, and that one was a, a nice little hitch route into the short side of the field. I think Phil Parker, the defensive coordinator for Iowa, he's probably the most underrated defensive coordinator in America, and he talks all about limiting explosives. He feels like if they just make a team earn their way down the field, limit those big, good chance to win. First down and 10 at the 34. And Donovan Edwards. Nice catch out of the backfield. Chased out by Jay Higgins. And explosive plays. It's a good chance they're going to lose the game. Second and three at the 41. No 25 yards plays for Michigan so far. Donovan Edwards. First down Wolverines. And I think this Michigan team, because they're so... Down at the 46. Feels like it's almost time for McCarthy to take a shot down the field. And he'll hand it off. Edwards. Wow. Nice burst. First down, DeGene with the tackle, but a gain 12, maybe not. He missed three big ones like that last week against Maryland. Corn with daylight. Corn spun down. Corn looking for the first, hops through the hole. And I don't know, it'll be close. To Corm on the give, and it's a first down Michigan. Tenth play of the drive. First down at the 30. Edwards skipping. Pick up two, Shannon. McCarthy, quick fire this time. Underneath, Roman Wilson with the grab, and he got crunched. Cooper DeGene. And here comes the option. Corum caught and knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. That's Captain Jack right there, folks. Captain Jack Campbell, first team all Big Ten linebacker. Moody tied a career high last week at home against Maryland with a 52-yarder. Clean snap, good hold, Jake Moody. And it's good. Jake Moody connects from 44 yards away, Michigan. Takes a 10-0 lead with 8.28 to go here in the second last week. From Hamilton, Ohio. First and 10 at the 46. And they'll give it to Johnson again. Bounces it outside. Flag on the play. And Johnson goes out of bounds. Close to the 45. Rod Moore, the safety. Ushering him out of play. And with the football. First and 25. At their own 31. Petrus. Sideline, high throw, but caught. Colby is on the side, and therefore, to me, Coach Farron says a gripe. I think it's a legal block. All right, thank you, Mike. From the 44, Gavin Williams in it running back. Petrus drops it off. Williams, a screen, but he goes nowhere. What a job. Taylor Upshaw, the graduate transfer. If he's under center like he is now. Second and nine at the 34. And he'll hand it off to Corm. Corm churning his legs backwards. It'll pick up the first down. That's the nature of the sport. In order to get completions quickly made on the exterior of the defense. There, a deep shot down. Got it. Finally got one down the field. Guys. Nicely done. Adriel Anthony with a 29-yard gain. There's your first big play against the Iowa defense. And it starts because he kind of pumps on the outside to try to get that defense to bite a little bit. Just a bit. This is the 20th play in Iowa territory for Michigan. Second and 17. McCarthy underneath, and it's incomplete again. Ronnie Bell, the target, and a late flag throw. Quinn Schulte in Jake Moody field goal range. First down at the Iowa 29. McCarthy with the handoff to Corum. And Corum, another burst. Jack Campbell with the tackle. He gains eight. Second down and two at the 21. And it's Corm. Almost popped that one through. Seth Benson with the tackle. First down at the six. Down here, what you're trying to do is put the second level in conflict. A little play action and get right behind him. Here's McCarthy rolling out. Side arms it. Caught at the 11 by Roman Wilson. You're trying to get Schoonmaker out like this on a corner. Second and seven of the 12. McCarthy looking. Sidearms it inside the five incomplete. 
Schoonmaker was the target. Got to get that ball snapped immediately. Third down and 12. They snap it in time. McCarthy off his back foot to the corner. Batted up and incomplete. Roman Wilson, the intended receiver, but Sebastian Castro was there defensively for the Hawkeyes. On the right hash. High snap. Kicked. And good. Jake Moody, two for two. So with nine seconds remaining in the first half, Michigan, the number fourth ranked team in the country. The Wolverines taking a 13 to nothing lead. To continue. All right, first down and 10 of the 25. Here's Petrus to throw it on first down. In trouble, and he'll take the sack. Spencer Petrus goes down. Mason Graham with the sack for the Wolverines. This is a great pass rush from a young defensive lineman, in particular an interior defensive lineman. It takes strength to do this, folks. And what you're going to see from Mason Graham is he stands up and he gets Nick Dijon on his heels and then he pulls him forward. It's push-pull technique and then he is there in the face of Spencer Petrus before he can pull the trigger. Second and 19. Petrus will throw it again. Over the middle on the check down. Williams, and he'll get to the 25. Picks up eight. Petrus. Hit as he throws and incomplete. No flags on the play. Harrell in coverage. Brecht was the intended receiver. Wow. First down and 10 of the 33 yard line. And he'll hand it off to Corum. Will crash through. You know, my father was a big second down at six at the 37. And Corum. Corum quietly is racking up some major yardage today, folks. Prior to that, what an incredible young man. Third down and one at the 42 to pick up the first down. That's why it's hard for them, and they've got to fit themselves into those gaps. And then he's right there to move the chain. Here's McCarthy to throw it. To the sideline, Schoonmaker turns it up. Nice run by Luke Schoonmaker. Seth Benson with a tackle. That's a gain of 18 yards. For a couple of field goals here. They've got to capitalize this offensive rhythm into a touchdown. First down of the 37. And here's the option. They throw it out wide for Newt, making Ronnie Bell. And Ronnie Bell plows his way forward. And he'll pick up a first. Boy, good decision from J.J. McCarthy right there. Number 27, can they get touchdowns and not settle for field goals is the question. Corn can't get outside. Turns it back up. And he'll pick up two, maybe three. Jack Campbell. No turnovers for the Wolverines thus far. Here's McCarthy. Sideline, schoolmaker again. He'll get out of bounds with a first down. Preparing to go over 100 yards in consecutive games for the first time since the first three games of last year. At the 13-yard line. Donovan Edwards in the backfield with J.J. McCarthy. Low snap handed by McCarthy. He'll sprint out. Turns the corner. Throws. Caught. Touchdown, Wolverines. Donovan Edwards. McCarthy making chicken salad and the Wolverines extend their lead 19 nothing Boy, this is just a player making a play right here. You're gonna get the blitz right here from Jack Campbell What you should get is a little hot route from Edwards, but McCarthy doesn't like it right away So he just runs around Jack Campbell or excuse me Luke Van Ness and he just throws it to the back of the end zone. And there he is, wide open. Donovan Edwards for a touchdown for Michigan. Boy, extra point good. 20 to nothing. JJ. Nice throw. Good catch. Wolverines up 20 zip. Second and 21 at the 26. Petrus lines up. Almost intercepted. Wow, DJ Turner couldn't hold on to it. The turn a hard time just getting it across midfield. Third down and 21 of the 26. Petrus in trouble. And he's sacked again. This time it's Mike Morris. The senior from Belgrade, Glade, Florida. 
Another sack for the Wolverines. Well, he's going to come first knock into the center right there. He's trying to free up his teammate, but in the process, frees himself up. And Mike Morris is there with another sack. And he's the type of guy that they talked about to us this week. And they thought, hey, one of the guys we can get going from a pass rush perspective is number 90, Mike Morris. They've lost their last four in Kinnick. First down and 10 of the 21. McCarthy. That's Donovan Edwards. Donovan Edwards just gives him so much. Double pass in the Big Ten Championship game. It was Donovan Edwards hitting Roman Wilson on a big pass. McCarthy hit as he throws. He'll chase it down. Should be an incompletion. Edwards with the recovery. And it was a... Rolling on the field is a fumble by the offense. Recovered by the offense. It was a fumble. Well, he gets hit as he's trying to release this ball. It's just a matter of whether that hand was coming forward. It was certainly coming forward. Yeah, I thought it was as well. But it was backwards nonetheless. Even if they deemed that his hand was moving forward, then it was a backwards pass by Edwards. Third down and 27. And Michigan will just give their punter some breathing room as they run it. Wagner with the tackle. This will be Iowa's fourth play in Michigan territory. Johnson lowering his shoulders out of the eye Williams the deep man play fake Petrus lobs it he's got his man Potterbaum and Potterbaum with a nice gain DJ Turner with the tackle first down 17 yard and he'll get it off here's Petrus nice throw first down for Ganey. Out of bounds at the two yard line. A 28 yard gain. For the fourth quarter. Michigan with the big lead. Iowa though trying to get it in the end zone and they do. Touchdown Caleb Johnson. And the Hawkeyes are finally on the board. Stevens in for the extra point and it's good. Seven plays covering 44 yards. Caleb Johnson looks like they found their running back of the future. First touchdown in 13 quarters of play versus Michigan. So Michigan starts at their own 25. First down. Corm skipping and Corm caught right at the line of scrimmage. Ethan Herkett in the backfield. Here comes a blitz. Michigan picks it up. Near side, Ronnie Bell leans forward and he's a yard short of the first down. Sebastian Castro with the tackle. Blake Corum returns. And they'll give it to Corum and he will not get it. Blake Corum will not get the first down. The Iowa defense holds. They tried to snap it quickly, but the Hawkeye says, ah, to the 18. You sound like a coach sometimes. You, you thinking about it? <laughs> I don't know. What's open? <laughs> Here's Petrus rolls out. On the move, and nice throw. Great catch. Nico Regani. He catches 49 yards. Petrus. Over the middle. Seam pass. Caught. And more room. What a job. This time, it's Luke Lachey. LaShawn Williams checks in at running back. He'll give it to him. Straight ahead. Williams first down. Hawkeyes. And Johnson comes back in. First and 10 of the 26. Play fake. Petrus backside. Laporta breaks a tackle. Laporta still running hard. Dives forward and gets down to the Michigan 18. Mike Morris had to grab his ankle. Well, what an effort as a player and coach. Here at Kinnick. Second down and three. They'll hand it off. Johnson looking for the first. He won't get it. Third down and five at the 19. Here's LaShawn Williams looking for the first, and he has it. Nice cutback by LaShawn Williams, the sophomore from Chicago. First and 10 at the Michigan 14 for the Hawkeyes. Petrus in the flats has his receiver. And it'll go out of bounds inside the 10, Nico Regani. Nico Regani has really given this team some energy. Michigan 
and Penn State. Second and four at the eight. Petrus caught Laporta, but he's immediately dropped by Rod Moore. No game. Petrus out of the sun, out of the shotgun. Petrus with the handoff to Williams, and he won't get the first down. On third and four, he gained two. He's trying to sneak the fullback out in the flat. Caleb Johnson, the deep man in the eye formation. Here's Petrus rolling, throwing, and a flag on the play late. Laporta, the receiver, he didn't have enough for the first. Will John standing over him. Pass interference, offense number 10. The penalty is declined. The result of the play, first down Michigan. Time out. I don't know, partner. Michigan will get the football back as Iowa turns it over on downs. You know Michigan is going to try to run it as much as they can. The milk that clock. 5.33 and counting. Four seconds, it's snapped, and they'll run it. Corum tripped up as he crosses the line of scrimmage. McCarthy will throw it. Sideline, ball deflected, out of bounds. Clock stops at 4.12. For Spencer Petrus. At his own 42. Petrus in trouble. And Petrus sacked again. Second sack of the day for Mike Morris. Petrus. And hit as he throws again. Incomplete. Mike Morris again. With this time with the quarterback pressure, two sacks and a quarterback pressure. What I love here is he goes outside first and then he sets Connor. Colby up and goes back inside. He beats him outside on the last play. Now comes back inside, showing the repertoire of pass rushing moves, and he gets to Petrus right when he releases the ball. Here's Petrus. And Petrus dragged down again. Look at this Michigan defense. Yabioki. This guy, they feel like he's got huge upside. Down to 24. Oh. Iowa throwing caution to the win here. Petrus. Hit again. Incomplete. Yabi Oki back to back plays. And this Michigan defensive line coming up huge. They miss Aiden Hutchinson. They miss David Ajabo. But there's some new guys here, folks, that you want to pay attention to. Most notably, Mike Morris and Yabi Oki, the Alabama transfer. I love the design of that. Individual pass rushing, and then there a defensive line stunt to get to the quarterback. Here's Corm. And Mike McDonald left to go back to the Ravens. To be their defensive coordinator, is this still the same Ravens kind of defense? It's the exact same defense with Sharon Moore and Matt Weiss and Jesse Mint Mentor getting a chance to do it here at the highest level in college football. Here's Corum. Stays in bounds. Kenneth Walker, you know, takes his talents to the NFL. Corum. And Corum. Nice in and out move, Blake. Corum. Touchdown over Reigns. Oh, he gave him a shimmy shake. A lip leg. Watch this move by Blake Corn. Got to get ready for his power because he can. He's he's got it. He can hit you. What would he do, Gus? What would he do? Here, okay, right here, here he goes. Right. Uh, oh, right there. Woo. Okay. To add to his totals, he leads FBS. With his 10th rushing touchdown, let's go down to JT. Develop players so that by the time you get to those big games, they're ready to play. Over the middle. Caught at the 40-yard line. 
J.J. McCarthy knows where his bread is buttered. Gives Morris a big hug. Petrus, here comes a blitz. Caught over the middle. Lachey. Back in. Soft cover. Petrus. In the end zone. Touchdown. Lachey. With eight seconds remaining. That's Lachey's first career touchdown. Extra point good. 27-14. And they've got to go to the shoe, so it does not get easier for Iowa after this one. Michigan, no turnovers. McCarthy still interception free this season. Corm with his sixth 100 yard game of his career and second in a row. And he leads the nation with 10 rushing touchdowns. Michigan with four sacks today, all in the second half, and numerous other pressures. And the Wolverines come into Iowa City and win their first road game. Let's go downstairs and check in with Jenny Tapp. Coach Harbaugh, congrats on the win. We said going into this one, it's where top five teams can go to die. You survived it. How'd you do it today? A, gr a really great performance. I thought our guys just really strained and played really hard. Uh, and these, these are the guys you should talk to. This guy had a yeah, one great game, Mike. Congratulations, man. Tell me about Mike. You got why is he so special? Then I'll let you go. Huge motor. I mean, look at the guy. He's about six, six, seven, 290 pounds, and uh, he's got a big heart right there. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, Mike. I got to talk to you. And that is so true. What a game. Two sacks for you. This defense. Really, you set a tone today. What can you say about your guys out there? Um, you know, I, I told him before, and have, I told him at halftime that uh, they're going to throw everything they got at us. The coaches told us the first drive, they're going to throw everything they have, everything out of their bag at us. And um, we took the punches. They punched us, punched us twice, actually. But I feel like we stepped up. We stepped up to the plate. And, you know, big-time players made big-time plays. And it was, a team, it was a team effort. It was a team effort. Everybody, everybody stepped up to the plate. Everybody did their job. DB's covered. Uh, we rushed the passer. These guys right here, here. these guys here. right here showed up when they needed to. Oh. JJ, you know these guys so well. You go up against them in practice. What about this group is so impressive? I mean, it's their nonstop determination every single play. They never stop. They go balls to the wall every single play, and then they just have those God-given abilities that just make them so special. So, yeah, I'm happy to see that they're going against another opponent. I'm not going to lie. For fair sure. enough, fair enough. They did their job. You did yours. Uh, what can you tell me about this road test for you, JJ? I mean, it was huge. Just from a team standpoint, this is our first road game, and especially coming into Kinnick with just the history of everything, it was just really awesome to get it done. Now we're on to the next week. There's so much to be said about the culture of this group. It was established last year. How high is the ceiling for this Michigan football team? I mean, we're not even scratching yet. We're still, like, you know, we're still learning. Every week we're getting better, and that's what makes this team just so dangerous. Like, we're nowhere near how good we can be. And it's like, you know, practice, we really try each other. We go extremely hard in practice, and it makes like moments like this, it makes it a little bit easier. I love this. Every week we're going to add a player. So next week, four guys. Uh, well done. Congratulations. No, I appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you all. Yabi Oki, J.J. McCarthy, and Mike Morris, three of the sure. stars of this yeah, game sure. as the Wolverines hey, remain undefeated. They'll head Double to check. Bloomington next week to take on Indiana. Hey, if their quarterback is going to play that control in a really tough environment, they're going to be dangerous. And if that pass rush comes alive, watch out. Watch out for these Wolverines, folks.